Hey guys, sorry it's been so long since my last video, um, some shit's been going on for a while now and yeah it's kind of stopped me from basically doing what I like doing which is this and various other things. Um, over the past, say, I think it's about three or four, maybe even five months now, um, I haven't been very well at all. Um, I've been um, suffering with severe anxiety and I got diagnosed with it as well and I uh, got put on medication for it, which, yeah, I haven't been doing me too great either, but um, unfortunately there's not much else anybody can do about it now. I've got to kind of deal with it myself, um, but... Uh, yeah, so I kind of just want to explain what comes with that, like, what comes with having anxieties and stuff. And I kind of want to help share some light on why it affects me the way it does. And if anybody else is suffering the same thing, I'd like to be able to try and help them with it as well. And uh, one second. But yeah, um... My, my personal anxieties, they stop me from being very motivated to do things because I, I wake up and I, I kind of feel like I'm not in my own body, I'm almost out of it, kind of. Um, it just makes me feel as if I'm dreaming all the time and it's, re it's really unpleasant. Um, on top of that, I get panic attacks as well, so um, if I'm sat around not doing a lot for very long, um, my heart starts to kind of slow down and then I start feeling funny, that sets my heart off, sets the adrenaline rush in, and gives me like a, an adrenaline boost, which makes me feel really horrible, and yeah, my heart starts going at what feels like a tenth of the dozen, <laughs> and it's not very pleasant, and again, once that's happened, I start feeling really low, kind of almost in a depressive state where I don't want to shower, I don't want to cook, I don't want to eat, I don't want to drink. Uh, I just, I just want to lie down, go to bed, and it's really terrible. And I'm trying to make a new start on uh, basically stopping this from happening as much as I possibly can. And so far, I'm not doing very well. But um, yeah, over the past couple of months, um, since probably April, May-ish time, uh, I got kicked out of where I was living in Burton-on-Trent before, and um, luckily I managed to man land on my feet quite quickly, and I uh, moved over to Derby with a mate, uh, stayed there for two months, got kicked out of his place, and then I've moved into my new home here now, and um, yeah, I'm doing all right. But um, the, the only problem is, is I don't have a job and my mum is helping me pay for this and yeah, it's making me feel worse because my mum's paying so much money out of her own wages to help me do this and it's not, it's not really fair but at the same time um, it's, I'm really thankful for it. So I'm trying to look for a new job, I'm trying to get myself more motivated and stuff like that and so as you can tell it's not very it's not working very well with this beard going on at the minute and I've got to stop looking at the ca like at the screen I need to look at the camera but ignore that um so yeah it's like it's it's really difficult and for other people that have got the same problem I'm fully with you it's not easy and and like I've kind of come to the conclusion that it's probably easier for me to share this and how I feel and maybe help someone else that has it or talk to people, other people that had it and got through the other side of it and stuff like that because I'm at a, a relatively low point right now and it's just not getting any easier. Um, I've got support from friends and family but sometimes it just feels like I'm on my own probably sometimes on purpose, sometimes accidentally, I just, uh, just can't get it together really. So I'm doing this as one as an outlet, two to get 
the point across that it can affect anybody that can, well, whoever seems really happy can also be going through the worst time of their life. And um, yeah, that's basically what I want to try and help myself as well as others that have got the same problem. So that's one of the reasons for this video. The second reason for this video is um, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Like, I enjoy, I enjoy making videos, I enjoy playing games, I enjoy playing music and stuff like that. And if that can help me get somewhere, uh, then by all means. But I just want to do it for fun because I enjoy it. I really do enjoy it. I, I, like, I don't know why I haven't done like the daily vlogs that I was supposed to do months and months ago. And there goes a really noisy train. But yeah, like when I did my first vlog series, I kind of wanted it to be an ongoing thing, and that kind of failed. So that kind of just proves my motivation for things. And yeah, but um. Yeah, now I'm actually trying to be more serious about it and put time and energy into doing that. And at the minute, I just need to get myself a job first so I can get myself a decent computer for doing music and gaming on and, and go from there. But my only problem is, is whether I just do the one thing or whether I do both or whether I do something completely different and just do like vlogs like this all the time for now at least. Uh, I, I just want some help because <laughs> um, that's, that's really it. It's, it's like I've been trying to do this on my own for so long that I, I, I just feel as if it's time to actually ask for the help that I need rather than try and go I can do this I'm I'm a big man now I can do this and uh, truth is that's never true like even people even the most proudest people can go to the doctors and ask for help that's that's why they're there and it took me probably months and months and months of convincing myself and other people going you need to go to the doctors for them for me to actually finally go and yeah um so yeah um please feel free to comment with your own stories underneath or with your own or not with your own, like if you've got stories of yourself going through the same kind of thing or whether you know some family that have gone through the same thing, like I've got my dad who's a manic depressive alcoholic and he's gone through some tough times, he's still well in that place but uh, he's was like me, he just doesn't want to go seek the help, he's gone and had himself diagnosed and stuff and now he's just carrying on not giving a damn about it really it just makes himself worse but um i'm trying not to do that i'm trying not to follow in his footsteps because i can see how it's destroyed him and I, I don't want that i don't want that from myself i don't want that from my daughter or anything like that you know i mean i want to get myself in a nice stable place where i can fend for myself i can help bring up my little girl and yeah i, I just want to be better again because um, I'm a broken man, uh, essentially. I'm, I'm just at the bottom of any old pit. And I just need a ladder. I just need somebody to point me in the right direction or to kick me up the arse or shove a rocket up my ass or whatever, you know. It's just uh, anything. But, um, yeah, so please comment in the bottom with your own stories or any ideas that you can come up with to help me go along the right path of where I need to go like or what to do or just an idea that I can take on board and I'd be very 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 appreciative of it and um, hopefully I'll be doing another video like this soon with a bit of better update than uh, this one so I uh, hope you have a really nice day guys and I'll see you soon. Ta-ra!